Okay, I'm gonna try this without my headphones. I think there's a problem with my headphones. Uh, here's number six. Uh, this is also tricky for kids um, because there's a negative X here and a negative X here and it threw people off. Um, negative X is the same as negative one X. You should see that as X is just the same as one X, but it's a negative, so it's negative one X and negative one X. If you have a negative one and a negative one, that's a negative two X. These two combine to be negative two X. You're subtracting an X, you're subtracting another X, for a total of you're subtracting two X's, minus one, okay? Now it's a two-step problem. How do we undo this minus one with a plus one? So everything that's there, plus one. Everything that's there, plus one. Nine plus one is 10. This and this are inverses and they cancel each other out. Equals negative two X. 10 equals negative two X. What's happening to X now? It's being multiplied by negative two. So you divide by negative two, both sides, okay? And 10 divided by negative two is negative five. Sorry, killing mosquitoes. And negative two X divided by negative two is X. X. Negative five equals X. Now, let's do the proof. Here's another way that people uh, had trouble. This negative right here is in front of X and should still be in front of the parentheses. If this number is a negative five, that's not that negative. That negative is that negative. This negative is from the answer of what X equals. So the negative of negative five, right? So write everything that's there. Nine equals, write the negative. Then wherever there's a variable, you put parentheses and the value inside, negative five, minus one, minus, then here's x, so that's where you put the parentheses, negative five. And you really would do yourself a favor to do a line here where you resolve this. Nine equals, resolving this, I mean, you do the negative of negative five, then you simplify it to a positive five, okay? Minus one, and then this minus a negative five is the same as plus five, okay? Nine equals five minus one plus five. If you try and do this addition first because you're looking at PEMDAS and you're seeing that the A goes before the S, they're actually inverse operations of each other and they happen together um, coming from the left, whatever you come to first from the left, okay? The reason that you see the A before the S is because you're not, they're not gonna stack the letters. You have to put one of the letters first, but you need to understand that the A and the S go together. Just like the M and the D, from PEMDAS is multiplication division and they go together, okay? Coming from the left, you say, what do you run into first? Well, here you get five minus one is four. And this stays the same, okay? Nine equals four plus five and four plus five is nine, so nine equals nine, check. By the way, another way you could think of this, instead of doing one plus five is six, this isn't a one, this is a negative one. When you see it as a negative one, you can see negative one plus five is actually four. And that would have been then five plus four. But you're still kind of doing it wrong because you should be coming from the left and doing this first, okay? So that's number six. Here's number seven, where we get into fractions. And this freaked a lot of people out, but uh, it really doesn't need to. Okay. Two over three X minus one half equals five sixths. There's a lot of different ways you can approach this and all of the different ways you can approach it, if you do it right, will still lead you to the correct answer. But I'm showing you one particular way because I think it's helpful. It's to clear the fractions. So what do you do? Okay, you take you try and find what is the common denominator of three, two, and six. The first number that's a multiple of three, by the way, multiples are three, six, nine, 12, etc. Multiples of two, two, four, six, eight, 10, etc. Multiples of six, six, 12, 18, etc. And the first one that's a multiple of all three is six. So we're gonna turn these into fractions that are equivalent fractions, but have a six on the bottom, okay? So two thirds, what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply top and bottom by the same thing. In this case, three times two would give you a six, so two times two would give you a four. You should be able to look at four-sixths and know that it simplifies to two-thirds. Well, it can go in both directions, right? So you can take it 
and make it larger and it's still equivalent. Since they're equal, you can write, rewrite that as this and it doesn't change the amount, okay? 2 thirds x equals 4 six x. And minus 1 half, if you wanted to get a six on the bottom, you do two times three, so you do the top times three and you get minus 3 sixths equals 5 sixths. At this point, some kids did something I didn't teach you, but uh, essentially this is a two-step problem, and you could add 3 sixths to both sides if you wanted to before undoing that. Totally legit, you can do it. If you want to add 3 sixths over here and get 5 sixths plus 3 sixths is 8 sixths, and then multiply by the reciprocal, you can do that. Okay, I'm just doing it this way because it's a clear method for getting a simpler problem like this. What do we do? Well, now they're all being divided by six, so it's the inverse of divided by six times six. So if we multiply six to both sides, this times six cancels out that, giving you four x, and this times six undoes this, giving you negative three. And this times six, that gets canceled out by that, giving you a five, okay? And now you've got this problem, and you say four x minus three equals five, we undo this minus three with a plus three, four x minus three, what's already there? Plus three equals five, what's already there? Plus three. Now, these undo each other and cancel out, leaving you with four x, five plus three equals eight, four x equals eight, What's happening to x? It's being multiplied by four. How do we undo that? Times four with a divided by four. Four x divided by four equals eight divided by four. This becomes one x or x. Eight divided by four is two. X equals two. Now let's check it. Two thirds x minus one half equals five sixths. The equation that you started with. And then you, wherever there's a variable, you put parentheses and the value inside. So we're having two times two thirds. Well, if you have two of these things, thirds, and you multiply by two, you now have four of those things, thirds, okay? Two thirds times two is four thirds, minus one half equals five sixths. And now again, we can't add or subtract fractions without a common denominator. So we will switch these to the common denominator six. Four thirds is the same as eight sixths because three times two is six, so four times two is eight. And minus one half is the same as minus three sixths. Two times three is six, one times three is three. So now it says eight sixths minus three sixths equals five sixths. And let's think about it. Eight bananas minus three bananas equals five bananas. The thing that they are is sixths, like they were bananas, right? So eight minus three is five, so five bananas equals five bananas, or five sixths equals five sixths. Check.